welcome back thank you for joining me thank you for pushing play on this video i know there's a ton out there for one reason you've come in to watch this video you've either probably watched a few of mine before or if you're new welcome my name is Amy, I am a mum of two, homeschooling my kids based in Northland, uh, which is the topper bit, I guess, of the North Island in New Zealand, and I've really just created this channel to talk a little bit more around um, what we do on a daily basis, my thoughts, my ideas. I am in no way qualified to do this, but I enjoy doing these videos and I enjoy putting them together, and I thank every one of you who continues to come back and watch my videos, as well as any newbies who front up and watch today. Thank you, I really enjoy it. Right, what am I gonna talk about today? Today I'm gonna to talk about the six reasons that I love Northland. So, if you're thinking about moving to Northland, maybe you've got kids, you're homeschooling, or you're just on your own and you wanna figure out what's good about living up here, this is the video for you. If you don't wanna move up here, but you're just interested in my life and uh, what we're doing up here and why we've chosen to move here, then this video is for you. So, sit back, Get yourself a coffee, I've got mine, and let's get started. Hey, I'm Amy and welcome to my channel. Throughout these videos, you'll probably hear me referred to as mama or mummy more often than not. This is Vita, she gave me the title of mummy, and I'll be forever thankful, my beautiful girl. This is Luxon, he's the baby of the family and the biggest snuggle monster I know. Occasionally you'll see this guy featured, He's my husband Phil and daddy to the kids. Join me as I share my journey leaning back into motherhood and being proud to be just a mum. We can look back someday Baby don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count Honey come on now and take my hand For those of you who have followed my journey I guess you know that about 10, 11 weeks ago uh, we relocated the family, our beautiful family uh, from Taupo, New Zealand up to Northland, um, in particular Paihia Upua region and it was kind of on a bit of a whim that we decided to do this so we came up one weekend we were looking to get closer to Auckland um, for Phil's traveling and his obviously well our business um, he's in Auckland majority of the week so it kind of made sense to be closer we went through Auckland I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sugarcoat it I love visiting there I think there's a lot of opportunities for homeschooling learning opportunities within there but to actually base the family there and live there was not something that I was keen to do but I thought I'd come up and give it at least a chance I've lived there previously as a I guess um, before I was a mum and so I thought let's go up with some mum lenses on and see if I'm keen to do that. I wasn't. Uh, so we continue to travel north. We've obviously um, holidayed a lot up here prior to kids and so we thought let's just go check out Pai here. Um, obviously the Opal Marina. We'll go check out some catamarans, some boats. Let's see what is cracking up here. And it was by chance that we drove past this house and we ended up um, putting an offer in that evening and yeah, deciding to move here. So it was very spontaneous. And a week before I kind of said to my husband, like I hope we've got this right because if we haven't, we are taking our family six and a half hours north and if I'm not gonna be happy, that's not gonna be a good thing. But I can tell you, from the bottom of my heart, if that exists, that living in Northland absolutely agrees with me. Yesterday I was down in Topol for business, I travelled back via Napier through Auckland and when I got home, flew into the Bay of Islands, Kiri Kiri Airport and drove home, I was so excited to be here and I thought with that in mind today I'm going to talk you through the six or seven reasons can't remember how many I've written down, I've got them on my trusty phone here, um, that I love living here. Right, number one reason that I love living in Northland is because it is imperfectly perfect. And I've thought a lot about this while I'm walking the waterfront, I'm going through the bush and kind of just getting out and about. The thing that I love about this place is that the council, unlike many councils I guess throughout uh, the country, don't really uh, either have the resources or care too much or maybe everything just grows way too fast. To mow the lawns properly, to repair anything that's broken, it kind of feels like 
Um, all of that stuff that's been created, like the roading, the pathways, um, the reserves, have all kind of just been put in there because everyone else is doing it around the world and we thought it would be a good idea to do it here, but we don't maintain it as well as we can. Uh, or I shouldn't say that, we don't, we don't maintain it up here like for example, things were maintained in Topol. I felt like everything was kind of perfectly groomed and sorted there. So I love it when I'm going on a walk and I'm kind of, and I'm finding things like those, you know, big yellow um, flowers, the big white flowers as well um, that grow. Like, I shouldn't even call them flowers, like the weeds. There's kind of no way around it. But nothing is perfect here, but it kind of makes the imperfections make it feel real and make it feel like it is kind of like a perfect little haven. So if you like to live in an environment where perfection is very important to you and things being manicured and taken very and taken care of very well, then Northland is not the place for you. But if you're like me, perfect. The second reason that I love living up here is the slower pace of life. Everyone just seems to be so much more chilled than what they were in Taupo or so. We are traveling through Auckland yesterday. Everyone's just so like pent up and like, got to get places, got to do this, got to do that. And here it just feels like, you know, people actually stop and smell the roses. And I know that smells, smells, sounds cliche, but it really is the case here. Like we moved in um, and within the first week of being here, all our neighbors had come and introduced themselves. Um, people are not afraid to kind of stop and talk to you and have a conversation and there's just less rushing. So there's not a lot of rushing that goes on here. And if you're someone like me who has come from that environment and found that to be really stressful, it definitely triggered um, like anxiety and worry and all of that, then yeah, Northland is not like that. It is relaxed, it is slower. And if you potentially are in a rat race kind of environment at the moment and you're wanting to slow the pace of your family, family's life down, then I highly recommend Northland. And that leads me on to the third reason that I love living here. People are so friendly. I feel like living in Northland is stepping back in time. You know your neighbours, your neighbours know you, you have neighbourhood get-togethers. It's just a real little community up here. And I have loved um, bringing the kids into that environment. I definitely feel safer. I feel like everyone's got everyone's back. Everyone's looking out for everyone. You know, there's instances around the neighborhood where I know that some of the older generation are helping look after the younger kids for other parents so that they can get a break. And uh, it just really feels like a little village here. And in New Zealand, I've struggled to find that. I grew up in that environment and then I obviously moved into Cambridge and onto other towns and I was really struggling to find that. So it feels wonderful that I've been able to find that for my family and for my kids. Uh, so if you're the type of person that doesn't like talking to people or you don't like community, you'd rather just you know live in your own siloed life, then Northland is not for you. But if you are someone who enjoys um, that sense of community, who enjoys feeling like you know, you're all looking out for each other and you're prepared to pitch in on that, then Northland is for you and it's definitely for me. The fourth reason that I love living up here, when it rains, it's still warm. You don't have to worry about having to wear sweaters under your rain jackets. I went for a walk this morning and it was raining. I was completely soaked through by the time I got back to my car but I didn't care because it's warm. It feels so warm up here all the time. And you know, talking to the locals who have been here forever, they're sick of the rain. You know what, since moving here, I've got a new appreciation for rain. It reminds me of my time when I was in Thailand without that extreme heat. But you know what it's like when it buckets down in the afternoon, that 3 p.m. downpour and you can still go out in the rain. It's very similar here, especially this time of the year. Let's see, I guess, what May, June, July brings next year because we weren't here in winter, but I am loving uh, the fact that it's so warm, as are my plants. My cucumber, the only veggie plant that I've planted to date because I've just been a little bit busy with some other stuff going on, already has eight of those tiny little cucumbers and I only planted it like four weeks ago. So the as much as my cucumber loves that heat, I love that heat too, all right? It is wonderful, it is the best feeling. So if you don't like heat, 
but you um, and you enjoy the cold probably don't come to Northland but if you like the warmth and you want to feel warmer then pack your bags and get yourself up here because I can guarantee you it is the best place to live in New Zealand if you like the warmth. The next reason that I love Northland is we are surrounded by our native bird. In New Zealand our native bird is the kiwi. It's a beautiful non-flight, what's the word, flightless? It's a flightless bird so it doesn't fly but it's basically goes around the uh, the base of our forest and it's got a big long beak and it, it goes into the ground and gets things. We've got kiwi out the back here, um, hence my trapping and possum uh, catching ordeal which I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about once we kind of get into it. Just a side note, we're doing a big pest control uh, kind of thing for homeschooling at the moment so I'll definitely talk more about that in another video but I love the fact that our kiwi is around us. We're called kiwis if you aren't from New Zealand a New Zealander will quite often refer to themselves as a kiwi so yeah that's all I've got to say on that matter really. It's kind of a weird one to chuck in there but I thought about it when I was out walking this morning it is something that makes me very happy about living up here as being amongst fellow kiwi. Right, and the final reason that I love living at Northland is we are surrounded by green and blue. Now what I mean by that is green being native forest and blue being the ocean, okay? It is so good for the soul and everything here just feels rugged and beautiful and just so, it just, it just fills my soul with happiness. It's the only way I can explain it. Now, if you enjoy probably living um, in an environment where you don't have ocean, maybe you're terrified of sharks or you hate swimming, uh, maybe you don't like going for a walk in the bush because you're scared or you just don't enjoy it, bear in mind in New Zealand there is nothing that can kill you. So you're not going to have a grizzly bear wandering its way towards you. We've got no snakes, we've got no spiders that can kill you. So you're pretty safe in there. I've loved moving here. Every day we try to get down to the beach. Obviously we drive past it every day as well. I love taking the kids on bush walks. There's some really cool little forest tracks around here and I'm looking forward to exploring more of them. Uh, obviously we've got our two hectares of native bush sitting off the back of our property, uh, which is amazing to wake up and stare at every day. So. There's a lot of research to indicate that um, nature, in particular green and blue, uh, is an amazing um, antidote, I guess, to anxiety and um, it assists with you know, improving our mental health. And I can tell you from personal experience that since I've moved up here, I really have felt a connection um, with nature and just such an improvement in my general well-being. So, if you, if you love that stuff, if the ocean and nature and native bush is really important to you and it makes you feel good, then pack your bags and get yourself up here living in Northland because there is tons of it and there's also a lot of it that is untouched. So there we go. That's my reasons for why I love living in Northland. I fell into living up here kind of through a spontaneous decision. There was not a lot of thought that really went into it, but if you are thinking at the moment, if you're contemplating moving up here and you've somehow stumbled across my video, then I hope it kind of helped you. If you didn't and you were just kind of seeing what really I had to say this week, then thank you for coming back. I appreciate it. As always, check some comments below because it helps my videos to do better. It helps more people to see them and potentially someone that's looking to move to Northland might see my video because you comment below and I would really appreciate that. As always, if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. I'd appreciate that. Share it with any friends or family that you think would enjoy listening to me, following in our journeys. Um, I would appreciate that also. And with all of that, um, I'm going to go and uh, wash my children's hair because I've put them in the shower for some water play. One negative about living in Northland. I'll be there in two minutes. One negative about living in Northland is that you have to pay for your water. 
uh, so it's about $3.60 I believe uh, per cubic meter so we used to do a ton of water play down in Taupo and obviously it's nice and warm up here so my kids kind of get water play now in the shower uh, with the plug-in so that we're saving and conserving all that water that we can uh, it also gives me a moment to have a little powwow on here with you uh, share my thoughts but yeah now I'm checking out, I'm checking back into reality, I'm going to go be a mama, be a good one this afternoon, I've worked all morning, um, Marin has done a wonderful job with the kids this morning and she's out there enjoying some time with her friends now and I get to go and be a mama, which is my favourite job in the world. So have a good one and I will see you back here next week, thanks for watching. Hey darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now